knowing that there's problems right now that need to be fixed, well, it, it should be dealt with now. You don't vote on something knowing that it's partially wrong. Vigo County taxpayers express concerns about a plan voted on this evening. Good evening and welcome to News 10 Night Watch. The Vigo County Council passes the 2016 Employee Compensation Plan. The decision comes after more than a year of discussion, many expressing concern. News 10 Sarah Schaefer was there for the decision. She joins us now in the studio with more. Sarah. The council started on all of this in September of 2014. They've received plenty of feedback, both positive and negative. And finally, they've come to a decision. A unanimous vote in the 2016 employee compensation plan goes through. It's one Vigo County employees and taxpayers have paid close attention to. David Weger is one of those taxpayers. If you come here and you don't like what you hear or you don't like what, uh, what the outcome of some of these are, if you disagree with it, then that's, that's why that America is such a wonderful place. We go forward and we change that. The new system is a point system rather than a step in grade system. It places everyone according to job description. Council President Rick Berger says it's a foundation to build on. It's a fair system. It's a system that weighs the job on the outside world and the county worlds and other counties too. But not all council members were on board. Councilman Ed Ping voted against the job description plan. Knowing that there's problems right now that need to be fixed, well, it, it should be dealt with now. You don't vote on something knowing that it's partially wrong. Many have expressed concerns throughout the whole process. You guys are man enough to say, look at the end. I, I really don't think you've looked into what actually happened. 25 years of service to the county. But in this meeting, there was more support shown than previous meetings. Many expressing thanks. Not everybody's ever going to be happy. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of people that got taken care of because of this. A lot of people. Um, I believe it serves the greater good. I've got a lot of emails, phone calls on the street talk to say you're doing the right thing. You're doing the right thing. Employees that are still unhappy with their classifications can go back to the council. Berger says those concerns can be brought up in the next budget season. Back to you. All right, thank you, Sarah.